Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US stocks retreated on Friday, closing out a turbulent week as Nvidia's incredible run took a breather. The S&P 500 lost 0.65%, while the Nasdaq Composite slipped 1.16%. Both swung into negative territory after rising to new all-time highs earlier in the session. The Dow Jones Industrial Average relinquished 68.66 points, or 0.18%. All three major indexes finished the choppy week lower. The broad S&P 500 pulled back 0.26% this week, while the blue chip Dow and the heavy, tech-heavy Nasdaq fell 0.93% and 1.17% respectively. That decline marked the worst week for the 30 stock Dow since October. US stocks were hurt Friday as an earliest rally in Nvidia lost steam. The artificial intelligence darling finished down more than 5% in its worst session since late May. Despite that breather, Nvidia shares still finish up more than 6% on the week. It's part of a monster rally that has added more than $1 trillion to the stock's market cap in just the new year alone. Though Nvidia dragged on tech, Apple rose 1% in Friday trading. With that gain, the mega cap stock snapped its longest losing streak since early 2022 at seven days. But shares were still down nearly 5% on the week, making it the worst performer in the 30 stock Dow. Investors scrutinised the February labour data, which revealed a higher than expected increase of 275,000 jobs compared to the estimated 198,000, suggesting a strong economy. However, conflicting signals emerged with the unexpected rise in the unemployment rate to 3.9%, lighter than feared wage growth and a downward revision of January's job growth, potentially indicating a cooling inflation rate that might influence the Federal Reserve's decision on interest rate cuts. Oil prices experienced a weekly decline due to subdued demand from China and an ample global supply, as observed by the International Energy Agency. The West Texas Intermediate contract for April settled down 1.2%, while the Brent crude for May settled down 1.1%, with both US crude and the global benchmark registering, registering losses of 2.45% and 1.8% respectively for the week amid concerns regarding the sustainability of prices without significant Chinese demand recovery. Turning to US sectors now, real estate was the best performer and tech was the worst performer. In the Australian landscape, the Australian market anticipates a 93% probability of the RBA reducing the cash rate in August, with full pricing for a move in September, projecting two quarter point cuts for the year. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.6% fall. Thank you for listening.